What's going on my broskies? My name is Totski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we're here to talk about the 13.0.3 update and it came it came out you know while I was sleeping so I literally just woke it up just had a shower and I, I wanted to make a video for you guys in regards to this update because I mean it is cool what it brings mind you it is really cool however it is a little weird that this just didn't come out with the version 13 update from the get-go. It is very weird because what they added wasn't actually that much. Unless if it was the fact that they needed to tweak the system a little bit and they needed a bit of time to work on it. Or if this was just another piece of content that they wanted to give to us to tide us over, I guess. But the thing is, is what they've given us with the ship modification feature is just very bizarre because there's just no real content to use the new ships on right so yeah you can upgrade these ships and make them super powerful but there's like not much of a reason to do so so before we get into this video i want to preface this by saying that you should not use super cola or any modification things until you know what content you're using that ship for and the reason why i say that is is because grand voyage is going to be arriving within the next couple of days and for all we know one of these modified ships is going to be super useful in that content to give you increased statistics so my advice would be to not use any super cola because you just don't need it for any content aside from potentially grand voyage because we know how tight damage can be in that content so that's what i would say to you guys so without further ado let's go ahead and get into this uh into this update with the shipyard ship modifier activated modification will use berries and cola or super cola by modifying a ship it can add modifiers to boost the crew's hp attack and recovery and it does say once a day you can modify a ship without spending berries and cola if you don't have enough cola you can also use super cola but i do not advise using super cola to modify a ship you should be using it only to get the ship to level 12. That's what I would say about that. Modification results have rank tiers. And if you meet certain requirements with the modified ranks, each ship can activate its special effect. And this is big, right? Because each ship that has a level 12 feature has a certain new level, uh, a new feature added to it depending on the modified results. And we're going to go through it in today's video. We're going to try modifying a ship and see how it goes. Uh, modify uh, modification results have rank tiers and if you meet certain requirements with the modification ranks each ship can activate its special effect you will roll five results per modification and you can choose one of the results to add to the ship also you can make multiple modifications the modification gauge of the ship will fill and if you make the modification when the gauge is at max one of the modification roll results will be guaranteed to be above a certain rank tier and look we're just explaining this right now you guys might not understand completely what's going on but you guys might understand once we get to the actual visuals of what's actually going on so each time you get the the, the gauge to max you will actually have a, a guaranteed roll on hp attack and recovery to be a certain tier or above so there's like there's like five different tiers obviously and if you're at tier five which is the highest tier rank five then you will be able to get you know the better results of hp attack and defense or hp attack and recovery should i say uh moving on though modification results will be random each time so even if you spend like fifty thousand cola on one ship there's no guarantee that you're going to roll max results on these ships which is pretty shitty if you ask me i feel like it gets to a certain point where you you should be guaranteeing these level ups if you're spending that much cola on a ship anyways let's get into it let's actually talk about what's going on here so if we go over to the shipyard as soon as you open this up you are going to get like a uh, an information thing to give you a bit of uh breakdown of what's going on we can also view it here as well so you'll see that this is the modification rank as we were saying so you spend these cola to get these these ranks and this is on hp attack and recovery so your ideal scenario is that your hp attack and recovery are all rank five that's the best case scenario because it means that you'll get either at least 120 attack 120 hp 120 recovery but that can scale all the way up to 150 and it's random when you roll it it's completely random right so you want to be trying to get those rank fives because it says here if all three are four star or better you will get a special effect activated meet the rank setup requirements to activate the special uh the special effect so this is what we're saying here so if we scroll all the way down to let's say the dinghy right the dinghy is one of these ships that can go to level 12. now if you actually see to the right of the screen there are two little star icons you know reminiscent of frankie 
And this is the first special effect. So if you have a rank 4 on all of your HP attack and recovery, you get an additional minus 1 cooldown at the start of the quest. And then the second one says, if they're all rank 5, you get an additional minus 1 cooldown at the start of the quest. So this dinghy ship can actually give you minus 2 cooldown. But we actually have to go all the way back to this one right here, the shipyard. Um, this one will actually give you a breakdown of what each of these ships do. So the dinghy here, it boosts the crew's chance of landing on a type slot, boosts the captain recovery by 800, boosts the crew's attack by 1.65, 1.5 HP, which is really good, and then makes it easier to land perfects. So the dinghy at level 12 will have that effect. And then if you get all of them to level 4 or level 5, obviously, for the modification ranks, it'll be this effect plus minus two cooldown at the start of the quest. And this will go for all of these ships as well, which is wild. Moving on here, we have the Merry Go, and the first ability of the Merry will actually reduce Despair by one turn, and the other one reduces Bind by one turn, if you have it at level five uh, just across the board, which is so good. And we know that the Merry Go does become very, very good. Furthermore, we have the Coffin Boat. Coffin Boat gives you minus one cooldown to slashes at the start of the quest, and minus one Bind at level five. That's so good, and we already know that, you know, the, the Coffin Boat is a super super powerful ship if you are using mono slashes mono slashes aren't very common so i would not really suggest doing the mihawk ship unless if it is needed for one of the grand voyages of course next we have the striker ship which is the uh, alveda ship the level four rank gives you minus one cooldown to strikers the other effect gives 1.3 hp that's actually really nice this ship didn't have that but it does it does have attack and has damage reduction so having an hp boost on top of that is really strong so each of these ships just become so much more powerful moby dick is another one that sees somewhat usage and level four minus one cooldown very very common minus one cooldown at rank five 20 percent damage reduction when your hp is 50 percent or below which makes sense with this ship now remember that if you actually get this ship to level 12 below 50 percent you actually do get um like a huge attack boost i believe it's 1.7 if you're below 50 percent so below that that threshold you get the 1.7 attack and 20 percent damage reduction it's pretty cool i like what they're doing with these ships next we have the sunny now the sunny is probably one of the ones that is going to be overall one of the best ships because it's a rainbow ship it works with everything and the ship special got updated too to become so so good so the ship special got altered to be only a nine turn cooldown which is very respectable and what it does is it gives your crew a 2.25 times attack boost and that's freaking awesome and then i believe the multiplier of the ship itself went to like 1.65 so let's see what the sunny does first of all the rank four effect minus one to attack down that's so good and then the other effect minus one to bind at, at, at rank five obviously so this ship being a rainbow ship as well as removing one turn of bind one turn of attack down it's good. It's a, it's a really, really good ship that is going to see a lot of play in the future. Uh, furthermore, we have the Doflamingo ship. Now, to be honest, this is the one that I am considering updating in this video uh, because it is so good for Driven. If you're running Mono Driven, this ship is god tier. Uh, and obviously, the whole Kaido batch is focused on Driven, so I am considering doing this. But for the Dofi ship, you get minus one cooldown to Driven, which is great. And the other effect is it boosts the ship's chain multiplier addition by uh, 1.2 instead. So when you get this ship to level 12, it is a 1.0 chain boost. But if you already have a chain boost, this buffs it by 0.2. So this basically just says, you know, instead of being a 1.0 chain addition, it's going to be a 1.2 chain addition which is still pretty good. Um, and you still will have the other effect of if you already have a chain boost, then you get a plus 0.2, 0.2 instead. So this can work pretty well with Alba, really, um, being, a, being a driven focus captain. I think this is pretty good. And if you're running driven, you probably want this ship maxed. But then you've got the powerhouse focus ship, which is the Rocket Man. Most people are suggesting not to update this ship. Reason for that is, is due to the fact that this ship is used in the zombie sense where you run a team with uh, characters that are not powerhouse to get reduced HP to allow the zombie team to work as efficiently as it needs to be. And I mean, yes, you, you could definitely do that. But personally speaking, as, a, as an endgame player, I don't really care about using zombie teams. So I wouldn't mind updating this ship, but let's see what it does. So first of all, minus one cooldown to powerhouse, no surprise there, and reduces paralysis by one turn. That is actually very, very good. So yeah, the, all these ship modifiers are really strong. 
Uh, next we have the Black Birds, which is the uh, Strength, Dex, and Quick Ship, and it gives 10% damage reduction, okay, and it also gives minus one cooldown to Strength, Dex, and Quick. I think this is probably one of the weaker ones, because, you know, damage reduction is kind of whatever, the minus one cooldown is also kind of nice, it doesn't really give you anything that's going to overly help you clear content like 10 percent damage reduction is not going to make that much of a difference this is probably one of the weaker modifiers in my opinion and we also have the um the megalo ship uh this one gives a minus one cooldown at the start of the quest and also boosts the top row characters by 1.7 and reduces the duration of healing effect converted to damage effect by one turn that is very bizarre. That is very, very weird. I believe this might be the first effect in the game that straight up removes that effect. So anytime you have uh, that debuff where any healing you get is converted to damage instead, it just removes one turn of it. It's cool. And it also boosts the top row characters by 1.7. So it just makes the captains hit harder, which is cool. And it makes sense as a Shirohoshi focused ship. So, it's fine. I mean, uh, probably not one that I would personally upgrade, but it seems pretty decent. The thing at level 12 is the Megalo ship already gets a buffed special where it locks slots for two turns instead of one. That's already really good. The modifiers, uh, they're, they're okay. They're fine. Uh, we've got the Ace ship, the Piece of Spadil, and this one here will give minus one cooldown to everyone and reducing one turn of despair. So, that's also pretty good, honestly. Not too bad at all. But I personally don't see myself leveling up this ship, but it does boost powerhouse free spirit and fighters and i believe when you upgrade it it does add an additional class to it so this might be a, a pretty valuable ship just due to the fact that it boosts a lot of characters and gives a very very good boost and then finally we have the grudge dolph which is the hawkins ship and this one is also really good so it's a slasher and striker focused ship but it does have a lot of damage that can be outputted when at level 12 and this modifier gives a boosted chance of landing on the crew's own matching slot so that's cool and also minus one to special bind that is really cool because remember like ships they're always active the only way that ships are negated is if they're inflicted with ship bind which isn't a very common debuff so whenever you're inflicted with special bind you just remove one turn of it that is actually ridiculously good that is not a terrible modifier at all so to be honest, I don't really know which one I want to update first because I want to upgrade something in this video. So I've got to have a think about which ship I actually want to update in this video. Okay, so I have decided that I think I'm going to use the Going Merry as my first ship modification in the game. And the reason for that is, is because the minus one despair and bind, I feel like is going to be the most valuable asset moving forward. The ship, when you get it to level 12, already has minus one cooldown on it, which is very good. The other ship I was also considering, obviously, is the Merry Go ship, but I felt like the ship special is just an added piece that I don't really think I'm going to be using too much, even though removing one turn of attack down and one turn of bind is still very, very good. I'm going to go with the Merry Go for now, and I have just an, I have just under enough to do a second ship, so whenever the new Grand Voyage comes out, if a ship is needed for that, I should be okay for that, but I would advise you guys to not spend your Super Cola until we figure out what you need for the next upcoming content, so it's probably better to only modify a ship when you actually need to do it i wouldn't advise doing it otherwise because it will end up being a waste of resources okay so without further ado here we go we're gonna go do it we're gonna use our super cola it hurts to use it because of how rare this this thing is but we're doing it now and we're getting the merry go to ship level 12. one thing i probably should have done is i probably should have tested to see if a ship can be modified at rank 11. i think it needs to be rank 12 in order to get it but we have the merry go ship minus one cooldown at the start of the quest 20,000 HP boost to the captain, 1.65 times attack, and makes it easier to land perfect strikes. Now, another thing about this ship modifier is the fact that these ships actually might help a lot in treasure map. You know, when you're building these teams and having these effects to just remove one turn of certain debuffs might actually help a lot. You know, when sometimes on treasure map where they have six turns of a debuff, you know, these ships can help you remove an additional turn of that. That could be actually really, really cool. Anyways, let's jump into the modification here. So I have no idea what this is going to look like. Without further ado, let's modify this ship. So we're going to modify it. So ship modification can use 10 cola five times and uh, 2 million berries. That's a lot. And uh, five times to modify it five times okay so let's go ahead and modify five times let's see what happens our first try is free so that's really cool modification success and you see we actually already have two of these that have a five star ranking so i assume that we can actually only pick one of these right so, so we pick the whole row oh that's kind of weird so 
you actually can't choose specifically the attack or specifically the recovery you actually have to choose a one row of them that's actually kind of annoying to be honest so i mean overall we'll, we'll go with this one right which gives us a lot of uh, additional hp let's select that one overwrite the above effect and then you can see here we have the additional hp attack and recovery just sitting there so let's modify again spend 50 cola and we're using a lot of uh, berries doing it too and that time around was actually not as good so there's no real reason to keep it we're just not even going to spend it uh actually well we can go just modify again and we can just continuously do this over and over and over again and we are going to be using a lot of cola and a lot of berries doing this until we land on something that's actually worthwhile because currently the first one that we got was the best and nothing has really come close to it yet okay so that one we got a pretty good recovery boost but not what we we're really looking for here so let's go ahead and do it again Let's keep going until we land on something. We really want to get the, the rank 5s across the board. Oh, we got a really good attack powered one this time. And I feel like the attack is more valuable. So I'm definitely going to take that for sure. Let's keep modifying and see what happens once we get the gauge to max. Because uh, we should be getting something good, at least I would hope. Uh, but so far, it's been pretty bad. And that's the thing is, you, you know, you, you do this over and over again. You're using so many resources. And that is a really, really good one right there. So that gives us rank fours across the board. That's actually pretty good. Almost a free 100 across the board there. That's really cool. And that will automatically activate the first effect of reducing one turn of despair. Now, to be honest, uh, we're not gonna uh, we're not gonna take any other buffs unless if one of them are five star or above like there's literally no reason to do that at this point so yeah that's trash we're gonna move on that's a really good one though getting rank fours across the ball we want to see those rank fives though and i assume it's gonna be very very hard to see that but that was really cool that we were going to see all of them get rank four great success okay so it says next four star plus one mod guaranteed i mean we're pretty much seeing a guaranteed four star on like every single one so far unless if it means that out of all of the roles that it gives you all of them have at least one four star so let's see what happens here so this is the max gauge effect great success okay so that's kind of trash <laughs> that's kind of trash i don't see a reason for this because you're getting four and five star roles pretty much every time so getting the gauge to max actually doesn't really matter that much like it's kind of whatever, unless if it just highly increases the chance, but it just seems kind of trash, to be honest. I mean, yeah, we see a couple of five stars there, but yeah, I mean, this is, this is going to use a lot of resources to get these ships to max. Okay, like, it says great success, but it just feels like every roll just seems just as good or as bad as each other, right? So it's kind of whatever. The first roll that we got with all the four stars is, is just the best that we've seen thus far and nothing is really coming close to that at all and that's the thing you need all of them to be five star or higher in order to get the additional effect and that's going to be really difficult to do honestly i think that not a lot of people are going to have these ships at, at max level five unless if you have a lot of color to spend that one at the bottom is very very close we got a two star in the middle though which is not what we want so that's unfortunate but we'll see what happens here Maybe we'll get randomly lucky and we'll be able to pull some five stars here, but it's going to be pretty difficult to do so. We're using a lot of cola too, man. But this is this is going to be interesting. We, we might have to just leave it here until, uh, until, until next time, I guess. But we've got a great success here. I mean, sure, whatever you say, if you consider that a great success. Okay. Just a generic success. A lot of uh, five and four stars there. That's pretty good. But... I don't think this is going to happen in this video, unfortunately. I want to get the gauge to max and use it again just to see. Now, they did actually state that every time you get the gauge to max, you actually do get uh, much higher chances, right? So there's like different stages to it. So you actually have to spend quite a lot of cola to get these max gauges. So hopefully the next gauge max we get is actually really good. So we, we, sh we should be approaching the max gauge here very shortly. Maybe another two rolls, we'll see still just generic successes and i think this might get the gauge to max here great success Ooh, dang dude 
that was really close but the middle one is only a three star and there's literally no reason to pick that up because we will actually lose one of our ranks because remember all of them need to be four star or all of them need to be five star to get the additional effects on these ships so we're going to go ahead and, and skip that one unfortunately that was actually a really good roll generic success and i think we're not even at max gauge yet it looks really close we'll see here we're not a max gauge it should be this next one coming up okay so now it says next four star plus two mods guaranteed okay this has the potential to be good so let's see how the second one goes this time let's see what we get oh oh we got it let's go dude we actually got it five stars across the board so now you know if general frankie shows up that's what you want to get that is fantastic i mean look people might be able to go crazy and re-roll over and over again to get like 150 on hp attack and, and and recovery should i say there's really no reason to do that as soon as you get five stars across the board that's pretty much all you need right so there we go we ended up securing the additional effects so now we can remove one turn of bind and one turn of despair so that that actually cost us around uh 15 cola i think to get the the ship to uh, level actually no because i had ninety-eight thousand, i think so yeah about you know 16 17 000 cola to get from level 10 to level 12 and to also roll this and look you could cost even more cola depending on how lucky you get it might cost less cola depends on again as i said depends on how lucky you get but that was really cool nice way to end the video there so that's going to wrap it up for me hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today and if you guys did make sure to go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and that guys i'll see you guys within the next video